Hi all, welcome back. It's week seven of the Virtual Sussex School Games and this week the sport is boccia. Um, as usual, I'm going to film my challenges, give them a go and I want you to submit your scores and try and beat my scores by Friday midday on the School Games website. Just want to say a big thank you again to all those that are taking part. We are still in the top 25 of all secondary schools in the county, so we're doing fantastically well and we want to keep that up. So submit your scores, give all the challenges a go and the best of luck. Okay, challenge one of the Boccia challenges this week and it's called Moving Target. For this, what you need is five cones and 10 tennis balls. Now don't worry if you don't have uh, cones or tennis balls. If you don't have tennis balls, you can use socks. If you don't have cones, you can use things like frying pans or shoes, anything as a target. What you need to do is place a cone, two meters away from a chair. So my chair is going to be here. My first cone is going to be two meters away. And then after that, every 50 centimeters. So half a meter for five cones. What you need to do is sit on the chair, throw the ball and try and hit each cone and you've got 10 attempts. When you hit one cone, you move on to the next cone and each cone's worth five points. So if you hit the fifth cone, you get 25 points. Fourth cone is 20 points. Third cone is 15. Second cone is 10. And if you only hit one cone, five points. And you've got to work your way up. That's five cones for me, so that's 25 points. Give it a go. Right, challenge two of Boccia challenges this week, and this is called wall ball. For this, all you need is a ball, or you can use a pair of socks, and an A4 bit of paper, or you can use a target like a frying pan. For this, you need to be sat on a chair, two and a half meters away, it's going to be a target on the floor, you need to throw your pair of socks or ball against the wall, try and land it on the target. You need to see how many you can get in 60 seconds. Right, watch challenge three, this is called Under Pressure. For this, what you need is a rolled up pair of socks, two bits of A4 piece of paper or something similar of size. You are going to place one piece there, another piece about three meters apart. What you need to do is throw the pair of socks, try and hit the target, run, collect, throw back to the other. You're gonna see how many times you can hit the target in 60 seconds. Right, challenge four, this is called Tactics Alley. Essentially, this is like 10 pin bowling. However, what you need for this is three pairs of socks and five either water bottles. I've got a shot of pop tube here, or you can use deodorant cans. What you need to do is you need to set up your five bottles in a formation there. Now, it's up to you what formation you pick. The only rule is they can't be touching. You then need to stand three meters away from that first pin and you get three attempts to hit down. For every one you hit down, you get five points. However, if you knock them all down in your first go, you get a bonus 10 points. So you can possibly get up to 35. So you've got three attempts to knock them all down. So 
So that would be 25 points for me because I knocked all five down. However, remember, if you knock them all down in your first go, you get 35 points. Right, Bohunt School Worthing, it's now over to you. I've completed the four challenges. I want you to try and beat my scores. But most importantly, practice as much as you can and submit your scores on the School Games website by Friday midday. If you haven't already, tell your parents to get involved, your friends to get involved, and let's see a lot of you participate in this week so we can climb that leaderboard. Good luck and let me know how you get on.